When you're studying globalization, it's handy to have some key stats on the world economy at your fingertips. So more than half of the annual world output of goods and services now comes from emerging market and developing countries. 58% according to the data for 2021. Advanced economy is now down to 42%. However, the entire sub-Saharan African region only accounts for 3% of world GDP. And the European Union, after the UK's exit at the end of 2020, now takes 15% of the world economy. Now, these are the countries in the world with at least 1% of GDP uh, making an adjustment for purchasing power parity. And notice on this measure, first of all, that China is bigger than the United States, but also that India climbs into fourth place ahead of Germany and Indonesia and Brazil move above the UK. The long-term growth of China's share of world GDP, adjusted for PPP, is clear to see from this chart. However, there are signs that economic growth in China is moderating. There's a slowdown in growth rates. And per capita incomes in China remain only a small fraction of those in the United States. Living standards, as measured by real GDP per capita, will certainly not come close to those in the United States in my lifetime. The UK, uh, our economy, now accounts for about 2.5% of the world economy. And keep this in mind when discussing the impact of the UK on global economic and financial events. I hope you enjoyed this quick look at some of the key stats on the world economy. Uh, please like and subscribe to get notifications of new economic shorts as they are published on the Tutor to You channel. Take care. See you soon.